Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jocelyn. And thanks to the Benba Committee for giving me the opportunity uh, to being as a student speaker here. I'm Rashidul Islam. I have started my PhD in uh, bioinformatics in 2014. My PhD supervisor is Dr. Martin Hurst. I'm studying the role of Rangstone transcription factor in notch signaling pathway in T cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So here, here I'm showing the uh, maturation of the normal T cells. The hematopoietic progenitor cells originates from bone marrow and a fraction of them migrates to thymus and the uh, T cell maturation takes place in thymus. This is a multi-step process and this maturation can be blocked in, uh, in, in during this maturation. So this maturation block often leads to TALL. TALL cell have larger nuclear size and cellular size compared to normal T cells, and they are highly proliferative, and they accumulate in the circulatory system. So in TALL, several groups of transcription factors have oncogenic higher expression, often they have a gain of function mutation. For example, NOTCH1 is one of transcription cofactors that has gain of function mutations in more than 50% of TALL cases. So TALL accounts for 25% of all acute lymphoblastic leukemia cases. Uh, around 30 to 50% of the TALL patients have poor or no prognosis, prognosis to the existing chemotherapies. Recently, molecular targeted based therapy had been applied to these patients that have not, 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 one, not one gain of function mutations, but those patients have severe gut toxicity and often cells has the resistance to the notch inhibitors. So it is important to find the other factors that are, uh, that are involved with the notch signaling pathway uh, to identify the new, uh, and to identify the new uh, potential therapeutic targets to provide new uh, potential th therapeutics in future with the patients that have notch, notch one mutation. One of the targets is Rangs1 gene. This is a transcription factor which is highly expressed in TALL cell lines and primary, uh, primary TALLs compared to normal T cells. Here I will give you a small overview of the uh, histone modification. For example, we know that DNA is wrapped around the uh, histone protein. The histone tail can undergo several different uh, covalent modifications. For example, the H3 protein, H3 subunit of the histone protein can have acetylation at the lysine 27 position which is we refer as an active enhancer modification that is associated with the expression of the gene. In contrast, this residue can have trimethylation at the same, same molecule. So this is a repressive state that uh, is associated with gene repression. So the interesting thing is about epigenetic uh, modifications, they are reversible processes. We use chip seq technology to identify the uh, histone modified regions. We take the DNA from the modified histones. After sequencing, we map to the genome and we find a sharp peak like this after mapping the reads to the genome. And we use statistical methods to identify the significant genomic, re uh, genomic region that has this histone modification compared to the background noise. So RANGS is known to physically interact with histone acetyl transferase protein that deposit HTK27 acetylation mark and activates the target genes. This has been shown in the mouse, mouse model in myelid, myelid tissues and TLL cells. Here we want to study the role of RANGS to, to, uh, to analyze is to assess its impact in acetylation in the human TLL cell lines. So here we took the human TLL cell line Coptic A1, we knocked down Rangs1 rung, gene by SHRNA. And here is the Rangs1, the control sample, we uh, perform the HTK27 acetylation chip seek. There are some genomic regions that have HTK27 uh, H27 trimethylation modification that repress the gene expression. When notch is highly expressed, some of the regions uh, the notch uh, evicts the 27 trimethylation from some of these regions to activate its target genes. This has been shown in comparison between normal T cells and notch activated TLL mouse models. 
Also, this group let us show that notch can physically interact with the uh, KDM6B, which is a lysine demethylase enzyme that might evicting the 27 trimethylation from notch target loci. So here we want to study the direct evidence of the role of notch one for the eviction of 27 trimethylation. We knocked down uh, notch one gene by pharmacological inhibitor and this is the control sample and we assess the 27 trimethylation level using ChIP-seq. So here is the question that when rungs and notch complex both binds to the same genomic location, what happens? So we hypothesize that notch complex removes the repressive mark and rungs one complex deposits the active bars to activate eight target genes. Indeed, some of the key notch target genes have been shown to be regulated by rungs one gene. So we looked at the transcription factor chip seq data and we found that more than 80% of the notch one binding site frequently co-occur with the rungs one binding sites in TALL genome. So at first I look at the, what is the changes of acetylation level when we, when we knock down rungs one gene. Here in the scatter plot, I plotted all the enhancer regions, 52,000 regions. Each dot is representing each, each HTK27 acetylation region. In the uh, x-axis, the normalized read counts of those regions in the control sample, and the y-axis is in the rung treatment sample. In the red dots, I, am, I, I colored them red, that showed more than twofold change, more than twofold loss of acetylation level when we knocked down rung swan gene. That is telling us rungs, upon rungs knockdown, majority of the acetylation peaks shows uh, the direction of loss in their uh, enhancer activity. So then I looked at these, those genes, what is the changes of the repressive mark when we knocked down notch one gene we found a significant proportion of, the, uh, of those regions gain the repressive mark. That is telling us the same genomic regulatory regions that uh, uh, where rungs one deposits the active enhancer mark and, and notch one removes the, remo uh, removes the repressive mark from the same regulatory regions. To look at the genome-wide, I looked at these, all the uh, rungs one binding sites um, uh, the enrichment of the STK27 acetylation mark. We found that when we knock down rungs one, uh, rungs one gene, there is a significant loss of acetylation level at the rungs one binding site. Then I looked at the notch one binding sites. Here is in the, in the control sample, when notch, notch one is highly expressed, it removes the 27 trimethylation mark. When we knock down notch one gene, this region dynamically gain 27 trimethylation. Then another said when there is rungs and notch, these regions both are present, we, we have seen the similar pattern. So this, is, this data is suggesting that both work synergistically. Since both these uh, histone marks are ant antagonistic, so to deposit an enhancer mark, it uh, rungs, uh, to deposit enhancer mark by rungs one, notch removes the repressive marks. So to validate those, uh, those synergistic histone modification, we looked at the gene expression. We found at least 49 genes are downregulated when we knock down either rungs one gene or the uh, notch one gene. So this is telling that these 49 genes require both the transcription factors at the regulatory regions. Here in the heat map, I plotted the expression of those genes. In the upper panel is the red, showing this 49 gene is highly expressed in the control sample. In the knockdown sample, these genes are shown have lost expression in blue. I marked some of the key notch target genes, which shows the loss of expression in absence of rungs, rungs one gene. I also looked at the uh, promoter of those 49 genes. We see the prominent loss of acetylation in the rungs off sample and gain of 27 trimethylation in the notch off sample. So this is the uh, general overview of the model. So this is what people previously reported. Notch one interact with the lysine demethylase that evicts 27 trimethylation. There is also some reports that notch one sometimes deposit acetylation mark to activate transcription. But what we added to this knowledge is that Rangswan plays the prominent role in deposition of acetylation mark. 
whereas notch one removes the 27 trimethylations and it creates the environment for rung one to deposit the acetylation mark to activate the transcription of the target genes. So in conclusion, we want to propose that rungs and notch uh, act uh, uh, synergistically to activate their transcription. So I would like to thank all the members of Hearst Lab, our collaborators from Andrew Wang's lab, my committee members, the bioinformatics program, and the funding sources. Yep.